हरे कृष्णा सीक नॉट द होप दैट डिल्यूड्स सीक द होप दैट डिलीवर्स ऑल ऑफ अस नीड होप इन लाइफ विदाउट होप लाइफ बिकम्स अनलिवेबल वी ऑल नीड टू हैव समथिंग टू लुक फॉरवर्ड टू वाइल दिस इज अ वाइटल नीड इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट इज टू नो वॉट वी आर लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू सपोज अ चाइल्ड लुक्स फॉरवर्ड टू जंपिंग डाउन फ्रॉम अ टेन स्टोरी बिल्डिंग वेर द पेरेंट्स हैव फॉरबिड ऑन द चाइल्ड एंड द चाइल्ड इज इज वेटिंग वेन वेन माई पेरेंट्स गो वेन देन आई विल जंप देन दैट इज डिस्ट्रक्टिव दैट इज डेंजरस दैट इज द होप दैट विल डिल्यूड एंड डिस्ट्रॉय बट सपोज अ चाइल्ड लुक्स फॉरवर्ड ओह you know i'm learning this language now one day i'll be able to write my name one day i'll be able to write my parents names i'll be able to write nicely that's a hope that will take the child help the child to grow so similarly for us in the course of our lives we all need to choose what we hope what we look forward to the materialistic world around us makes us filled with insatiable desires and it makes us believe against the evidence that life at the material level can be happy that our aspirations and dreams for happiness can be fulfilled if we just gain more wealth if we just develop a better relationship with someone if we just get one particular object that we want this is the hope that deludes this is the hope that actually will keep us suffering life after life because this world is dukkhalaya as krishna says in 8.14 dukkhalaya shashvata it's a place of misery and hoping to find lasting happiness in a world which is filled which is temporary and distressful is a hope that is dangerous that is deceptive that is destructive at the same time the gita also tells us that beyond this distressful world is the merciful lord and that merciful lord is waiting for us in our own hearts eager to bestow mercy on us and eager to elevate us to the spiritual level of reality eager to help us understand who we are we are spiritual beings we are his eternal parts we are meant to delight in a life of eternal loving reciprocation with him he is eager for us to understand this and to learn to love him so when we are practicing bhakti sometimes we may feel my conditionings are so much i cannot overcome them my conditions the world today is filled with so many distractions so many temptations so many obligations how can i practice devotion so amid such inner and outer discouragements we can get hope by looking up to the lord and remembering his mercy In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna tells that "Te sham ham samudharta, rutyo samsar saagarat, bhavami na chirat partha, maya beeshita chete sam." He says in the twelfth chapter that if we just try to devote ourselves to Him, then He will lift us out of the distressful material world, out of this ocean of death. So, keeping our hope in the Lord, in His mercy. in his capacity to elevate our consciousness above the distresses of the world that is the hope that will deliver us and that is the hope that we need to cherish that is the hope that the bhagavad gita offers us this was the hope with which arjuna was energized when initially he had put aside his bow saying i can't fight by the end of the gita he picked up his bow in readiness to fight because he was energized by this hope of krishna's enduring unfailing unflinching love thank you hare krishna